This video is brought to you by Lightspeed, Wear a Zulu, and by WX Weather. Yes, you're looking at a fully electric aircraft, and yes, it can fly and has flown. Many times now. Actually, it can fly for up to an hour and a half on batteries alone. At the AirVenture Oshkosh Air Show 2008, Kit Plains Magazine sent Amy Laboda to talk to Randall Fishman at Aeroshell Square. Randall's the man behind the Electric Flyer C. This is Amy Laboda with Kit Plains Magazine. You're tuned in to AdWeb's continuing coverage of EAA AirVenture Oshkosh 2008. And I have with me here today Randall Fishman. He has built the Electra Flyer C. The Electra Flyer C is an electric airplane, pure electric airplane. Randall, can you tell me a little bit about this engine in this airplane? Uh, everything's electric. It's uh, 18 horsepower uh, DC motor uh, with a uh, controller to, make, to control the speed of it. Randall, can you tell me what powers this motor? How do you get this thing going in flight? Uh, there's custom battery packs, lithium polymer battery packs, uh, 5.6 kilowatts, which is a lot, big battery pack, and uh, that feeds into the electronic controller to, to run the motor. How much do those weigh? Uh, the two packs together, total weight of the batteries is, uh, with the packaging and everything, is 78 pounds. Where is it in this? Uh, I mean, this half of it is up here in the um, front of the firewall, and half of it is um, below in the, uh, in the tunnel. Okay, the tunnel. That's going between your legs. Uh, does that generate heat? Uh, no, the um, uh, lithium polymer batteries, if you discharge them at a reasonable rate, they'll make any heat. And there's also. Um, fireproof material around the batteries just to be safe. How long do you have to charge this thing before you can go fly? Uh, the batteries can be recharged in an hour, but you can't get enough power out of the wall to do that. So uh, with the 110 charger, it takes six hours, and with a 220 charger, it takes two hours. Two hours isn't very long. About how much, in terms of cost of electricity, does it take to get an hour's worth of flight out of this bird? Well, we're doing a lot with a little. We're not even using a lot of energy to, to fly. And electricity is relatively inexpensive, so it costs about 75 cents for a complete full charge if you use it all. You said 75 cents U.S., right? 75 cents. 75 cents. All right. Um, what about the engine itself? I believe that you probably have a fair amount of uh, money involved in this engine. Yeah, we, we developed the, uh, the motor for this use. We originally worked on it for the trike that we had last year, the, uh, the ultralight. And this is just a variation of that. Excellent. So how many years? Um, I started the trike uh, two and a half years ago, and uh, this uh, conversion uh, about a year ago, a little less than a year ago. Let's talk a little bit about the airframe, if you would, for just a moment. This is a modified uh, motor glider, is that correct? Yeah, it was. Uh, I had built this in the 90s. It was a gasoline-powered um, Moni motor glider. And I changed it around completely. We raised it, put a much larger prop for efficiency, raised the tail, uh, made all the changes necessary to make it work properly with electric. And what's the climb rate on this when you're, uh, you say you pull 200 volts on takeoff? Is that correct, full power? Oh, uh, the voltage of the battery pack is 75. We run 200 amps. Yeah. So it's amps times volts. So 200 amps, uh, we get about 500 feet per minute. Uh, and then, of course, we reduce the power to level off and uh, extend the battery life. Absolutely. So this isn't necessarily about speed, but if you're holding a course and, uh, say, 65, 75 percent power, about how fast are you going? Uh, well, uh, we're used to gasoline power, 65 percent, 75 percent. That was a gasoline thing. We run at about 33 percent or 30 percent uh, power. That's our maintaining. We're going about 70 miles an hour. You could do it at 70, 75. You'd be probably going about 80 miles an hour, but you're using the batteries too fast then. Okay, I understand. This is a highly efficient engine. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about the difference in efficiency between this engine and a gasoline engine? 
Uh, yes, uh, the motor that was on here was a two-cycle gasoline motor, and they're about 15% efficient, about 85% heat and noise. This motor at, uh, at our cruise speed, best uh, speed is about 90% efficient, 10% heat. And when we're climbing a little less, maybe 80% efficient, 20% heat. So there's a lot less heat to, on, on the motor itself to get rid of. So when it comes to affordable flying, efficiency is everything, and this bird certainly has what it takes to be an affordable flyer. Oh, yes. The, the batteries themselves are expensive, but uh, per flight, very inexpensive. We don't use a lot of energy. Carbon footprint is almost nothing. Uh, and the, the biggest thing about it is it's quiet and vibration-free. That's more important to me. We're here on Aeroshell Square with the Electrifier C. This is Randall Fishman. For more information, you can go to electrifier.com. And thank you for listening. <laughs>